Good afternoon, hello, my name is Daniel and this video and today in fact has been a long time coming. I should have done this years ago. Today's video is all about me getting some proper one-to-one -one swim assessment, swim coaching with my coach Chris Hine at Pure Performance Coaching. I'm going to be doing some swimming, obviously he's going to be watching me swim, he's going to be videoing me swim. I'm hoping to pick up a lot of pointers for years now swimming has frustrated me i swam as a child at an amateur level from like maybe age 11 or 12 to 15 or 16 and i've never really been able to capitalize on that i've been very much a mid-pack swimmer in the triathlon world and that's fine but i like to try and get closer towards the front of that race so that's going to be my plan and the, the brutal honesty is if i don't improve my swimming much over the winter i'm not that motivated to do loads of triathlons so i'm going to give it everything i've got this winter and this is where it starts there's a lot of work to be done fitness wise but there's also a lot of work to be done technique wise so let's get in the pool, let's let Chris rip into me as much as he wants and uh, let's build upon this. So hopefully this is helpful to you and uh, stick around so I'll share all of the tips and all the things that I do right and all the things I do wrong. Okay then, time to have a look at some swimming. So I have three clips of different paces here from the side and from above. So I think we'll just have a quick look at that and see what you think to my swim stroke and just helps refresh my memory as well as to what my swimming actually looks like from the outside because what it looks like on the outside is very often different to what you think it is in your head. One first 42 per 100 meters is roughly my race pace. It has been this year for a 1.2 mile open water swim. So although it might not be that fast in terms of swimming it is the, the pace that I spend a lot of time swimming at. So I do really need to look at it. 134 per 100 this is roughly what I do 100 meter intervals at so not hard hard but also not easy maybe a 6 or a 7 out of 10 in terms of rate perceived exertion just see the differences there from when it's over on top and then 128 per 100 this is probably something like my 50 meter interval pace so this is quite hard maybe a 9 out of 10 in terms of effort level and you can just see how my stroke is faster the cadence is faster I'm kicking more and hopefully moving a little bit faster through the water so that gives you a bit of an idea as to what my swimming is like when I'm swimming normally now swimming is quite overwhelming to me in terms of trying to work on my technique this is all new to me so coach Chris and I are going to be working on one or two things at a time and this one thing we're going to work on for the next few weeks is all about my rotation it's my trunk control and alignment at the minute you might not be able to tell from the from the clip maybe it's just an in-person thing but my shoulders are leading all of the turning and the rotation my shoulders are turning then my hips are following this is towards the end of the session so i'd hope it's not as bad as it was at the start but the thing i'm going to be really working on is getting my hips to rotate first so that it's leading the rotation i'm more stable in the water i'm more streamlined and hopefully faster now how i'm going to be doing that is by using a couple of drills one of them is called the corkscrew, so that is where you're either on your front or on your back and you're kicking and you'll just essentially turn over in the water whilst you're moving down the lane, but you'll use your core and your trunk to turn your body over rather than your shoulders or your upper body. You have your arms above your head and just let your trunk do the work. It's really hard to explain, it feels weird, but it does actually work. And the other drill is the kick on side, maybe with some progression. So you can, uh, let's say you kick on your, you're on your left hand side in the water, you hold your leading arm at sort of 45 degrees and you're kicking as if you were kicking, but you're really focused on turning your body with that trunk rotation. Do one stroke or three strokes, change sides and do six kicks on the other side. And the whole focus of those drills is to work on your core and your trunk and turning your body with your core and your trunk. Now I know it's only a small part of the swim stroke and there's a lot more to work on, but that's what I'm going to be working on for the next few weeks to try and improve my swimming. I'll be doing things with fins as well, doing those drills, so it's a bit easier to do and you can focus more on the trunk rotation rather than having to kick hard. But I'll hopefully be able to show you that in the next few weeks. And that's what I'm going to be working on for the next few weeks to try and improve my swimming. Hopefully that's helpful to you. I look forward to documenting more of my swimming progress over the winter and hope that it helps out. So thanks a lot.